once again, dear friends in Christ. Welcome to another special presentation of Service Electric Cable TV, Super 2 out of Allentown. We're here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania today, celebrating 100 years of centennial celebration of St. Mary's Byzantine Catholic Church. And we are certainly proud to be here in a fine community as this is uh, celebrating uh, such a fine event. And with us today is uh, Pastor Francis Gare, who's at the church now, been here about two and a half years. To many of you folks in Allentown will remember him from St. Michael's Byzantine Parish and also a pastor for 13 years in Philadelphia at the Holy Ghost Church. They're uh, famous for their choir and uh, producing many record albums and so forth. Nice to have you here with us today, Father Gare. And uh, where are you originally from? I am uh, from, uh, born in Raven Run, Pennsylvania, a little patch town. And uh, then we, when I was small, we moved to Frackville, and from there we started to go down to St. Clair Church. And from there, of course, uh, entered the seminary back in 56. How does it feel to be back in the small coal mining town well, area? It's, it's kind of nice to be home, you know, home again, a homecoming type of thing, and uh, uh, certainly the area is not foreign to me. It's not strange, so it's nice to be in among people that you knew before and so forth in the area. I understand also this is a special year for you, celebrating 25 years into the priesthood. Tell us about that. Well, as I say, I was ordained in 64, so to this year also marks my 25th anniversary as a priest. And, uh, um, of course, it's a, a great a great privilege to be a priest for 25 years and to serve the Lord in his vineyard. And so I was privileged to serve, uh, sort of come up here to serve at St. Mary's and uh, uh, celebrate it here, the 25th year of my priesthood. So. What's uh, the most important joy, you could say? What has that been for you throughout these uh, 25 years? Well, I think serving God's people and getting the satisfaction that you are doing God's work and doing something for even one or two individuals that uh, you can put your priesthood into that and serving Him and, and uh, serving God, of course, and, and trying to uh, certainly, um, uh, you know, be a good priest. And uh, even though even our Lord, certainly, uh, being God-man, didn't have it, uh, wasn't that people even found fault, but it's a great satisfaction to certainly serve the Lord and, uh, and go through. You know you're going to certainly not please everybody, but you try to at least serve as many as you possibly can get to. And I guess you could say, you know, uh, if you have saved one soul in your lifetime, it was all worthwhile, right? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, we're celebrating this uh, 100 years now in the community of Hazleton and St. Mary's. Uh, what do you think the centennial year should signify spiritually for a church like this and for the people? Well, I think the satisfaction, the fact that they were able to settle here and to certainly establish their own church in Hazleton area. And, of course, the original church was just about catty corner from where the church is now. And uh, to come to Hazleton and build the church they have now and serve the community and serve Almighty God and to certainly be significant that there are Byzantine Catholics in the area because, of course, this is a concentrated area here in the hard call area, we call the hard call area, of, of Byzantine Catholic churches. So it certainly means uh, uh, that the fact that they accomplished such a great deal, even if you look at the edifice itself, of course, under Father Koval of Happy Memory, he was instrumental in building the church, so they can be proud of what they have and, and uh, of the property and so forth and uh, be proud to belong to St. Mary's. Well, thank you so much for being part of this program. Father Guerra here in Hazleton. We're going to continue now with today's celebration, and uh, we'd like to mention that Father Basil Schott will be with us from the Franciscans of uh, the Byzantine Catholic Church, so please stay with us for a fine religious program from Service Electric. <laughs>
shepherd of our diocese with filial love and acceptance. To you we present the following items collectively representing our total welcome to you as you come to lead us in this awesome mystery of Eucharistic worship. Most Reverend Bishop, to you we respectfully present the key to our church and of us as an expression of our tender being submission to your episcopal authority which encompasses not only the spiritual but the temporal goods of our parish as well. Thank you. Most Reverend Bishop, the Holy Gospel instructs us to be the salt of the earth. Your presence here today helps us to serve as seasoning to our spiritual lives, providing vibrant testimony to and instructions to our holy faith, to the fulfillment of Christian virtue. Thank you. Most Reverend Bishop, this bread expresses the continuous desire of our parish that our members be given the supernatural bread from heaven through your sustaining hand as you feed us, your humble flock, with the life-giving truths of Christ centered in the Holy Eucharist. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. is here with us from the originally uh, before from the Holy Dormition Monastery here of the Byzantine Franciscans in Cybersville, close to Hazleton, now residing in the Maryland area. Nice to have you here with us, Father Basil. Thank you very much. And I understand you'll be giving us uh, some good historical information uh, in regards to this particular parish and uh, letting us know who some of the celebrants and con-celebrants are of today's Divine Liturgy. Right, we have just witnessed the beginning of the procession into the church for this centennial celebration of St. Mary's Byzantine Catholic Church in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. The celebrant is the most reverend Michael J. Dudek, the Bishop of Passaic, assisted by the most reverend George Kuzma, the auxiliary Bishop of Passaic, who resides in Cunningham Valley. The con celebrating priests are Reverend Francis Guerra, the pastor of St. Mary's, Reverend Monsignor John Opalenik, pastor of St. John's in Hazleton, Reverend Joseph Homa, a former pastor of St. Mary's and now pastor of St. Peter and Paul's in Elizabeth, Reverend William F. Kulik, pastor of St. Peter and Paul's in Duquesne, Pennsylvania, Reverend Andrew Chura, of St. Joseph's in Toronto, Ohio, Reverend Nicholas Buhak of St. Mary's in Trenton, New Jersey, and Reverend uh, Monsignor Michael Moran of St. Mary's Cathedral, Van Nuys, California. The con celebrants are all vocations of this parish. Bishop Michael now blesses the four corners of the earth. I positive no hradce, i so verši jeho žena sodi desnica, tvoja hospodi. and see and visit this vineyard and perfect this vine which your right hand uh, has planted. Why 
bishops now go to their chairs and the con celebrating priests come to Bishop Michael for a blessing and the beginning of the divine liturgy. Senses the church in preparation for the celebration of the divine liturgy of St. John Chrysostom. Indeed, it's a glorious day for St. Mary's Parish as they celebrate their centennial celebration. Again in July of 1889, made up of mainly immigrants from the Austro Hungarian Empire, now Czechoslovakia. They were humble, God fearing, and sacrificial people who fought to preserve their Byzantine Catholic heritage and rituals. The first pastor was Father Nicholas Stetsovitz. Reverend Bishop, give the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. St. John's and Hazelton. Thanksgiving of his servants, which we offer with a contrite heart. 
Mr. Joseph Cohut, who is a trustee of St. Mary's Parish. session. the gospel with the whole congregation. O Christ, the true light, who enlightens and sanctifies everyone coming into the world, mark us with the light of your countenance, 
that walking in it, we may see the light of your glory, which is beyond understanding. Direct our steps in the observance of your commandments through the prayers of your most pure mother, O Christ our God, save us. Oh, Bishop Michael will now incense the holy table. Save us, O Son of God. Son of God, singing the special tropari of the days or special hymns, first in honor of the resurrection and then in honor of the mother of God as we honor her under the title of her holy protection, which is celebrated on October 1st in the Byzantine church. Ja Jesse Bojana, she de Bisla, the Salaim of Sri Sano Isa Tamadoko, Nani Pris Noiva Viki, Viko. The choir is now singing the Thrice Holy Hymn in the Old Slavonic, which was the original language used in this parish 100 years ago. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. 
Bishop of Helsinki. of St. Paul to the Hebrews. The bishops and clergy and faithful now listen to the reading of the epistle. The first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly sanctuary. For a tabernacle was constructed, the outer one, in which were the lampstand, the table, and the showbread. This was called the holy place. Behind the second veil was the tabernacle called the Holy of Holies, in which were the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant entirely covered with gold. In the Ark were the golden jar containing the manna, the rod of Aaron which had blossomed, and the tablets of the covenant. Above the ark were the cherubim of glory, overshadowing the place of expiation. We cannot speak now of each of these in detail. These were the arrangements for worship. In performing their service, the priest used to go into the outer tabernacle constantly, but only the high priest went into the inner one, and that but once a year, with the blood which he offered for himself and for the sins of the people. Peace be with you. now an insensation in preparation for the reading of the Holy Gospel and the proclaiming of the Word of God to the people. Listen, O oh daughter, give ear to my words. who are singing, Sule Daniel Kafka, Mr. Stanley Budzinski, and Mr. Frederick Plepin. This should bless the announce of the gospel of the Holy Apostle Evangelist, the Lord. May God, uh, to the prayers of the Holy, glorious, and illustrious Apostle and Evangelist, Luke, grant that you announce the word with great power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Wisdom, let us stand with attention and listen to a reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Luke. The present pastor, Father Francis Guerra, will read the Gospel. Lord, 
Let us be attentive. In those days, Mary set out, proceeding in haste, into the hill country, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted it Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and cried out in a loud voice, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? The moment your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby leapt in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who he trusted that the Lord's words to her would be fulfilled. Then Mary said, My being proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit finds joy in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his servant in her lowliness. All ages to come shall call me blessed. God who is mighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned home. Glory be to you, Lord. Glory be the homily will be given by the Most Reverend George M. Quisma, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of Passaic. Good afternoon. Praise be Jesus Christ and all his glory on this day, and we as which we have gathered to first a liturgy of thanksgiving for the years that this parish has served the Lord, the years for which it has gathered its faithful, that they may be able to praise God in his glory and in their daily life. And so the joy is with us this day, both for the priests who are here, for His Grace Bishop Michael, myself, but most of all for the parishioners of St. Mary's in Hazleton. When you recite the prayer the Lord taught His disciples, the Lord's Prayer, we come to one section which says, Thy kingdom come. It is a prayer that all Christians have offered to God since Jesus was with us in the flesh. It expresses really our longing for what has been begun so long ago and among us and which we hope to complete one day. It speaks of our own understanding of the process of building up God's kingdom which starts afresh every day of our life and in the hearts of every generation, including members of this parish. The coming of the kingdom in every age always has a new beginning. And this the hundredth year of this parish, these hallowed walls which have heard so many heart-rending prayers to the Lord, both in sadness and in joy, speaks to the families who came because they were submissive to God himself. Now, the beginning of any term of life describes the moments we share in the life of the church in Hazleton, but more specifically, in the church of Passaic. As we have said, it is but a beginning of a new life. The generation passed in 100 years. Your fathers, grandfathers, members of the parish have come here and have built a community church where we offer praise in the tradition of the church fathers. We know Christ is our beginning. And looking back, we see that what we have today is because someone began that beginning with Christ so many years ago. We know that Christ is the beginning and the end of our life. It will be the beginning and the end of this parish when God comes again. 
We look to Jesus always for our direction. And the beginning, that's all we can do. Look at Christ, say, Lord, lead me to your Father, that I may share in the kingdom that you have prepared for me. When we are doing what Christ asks us to do when he proclaimed the good news, we prepared ourselves to come to this day. And we are still preparing ourselves afresh and anew. Every day we recite the Lord's Prayer and the liturgy. And today, especially when we begin to chant it, think of those simple words, thy kingdom come. It's the affirmation of we who are Christians who believe that Christ will come again. Not the historical figure we read about always. You and I know and can recite so often. But Christ, the beloved man of his Father, he who died for us will come to claim his own to those who were faithful and loving to him. There is a place for us in the kingdom of the heaven and scripture says, for those who do the will of my Father. We have come to this celebration of the 100th anniversary. Not one of us here can say we did it by ourselves. But the beginning was but a, we call a portion of that journey to the Father. What we celebrate today was built upon the shoulders of others upon the prayers of others, the sacrifices of others, who have given to all of us here, to the Church of Passaic, to St. Mary's Church here in Halton, and to you, the parishioners, these four hallowed walls that have heard so much praise to God. There had to be a beginning, and that beginning was 100 years ago. Today, of course, we celebrate that beginning. We rejoice in it, and we are very grateful for it. The kingdom of God really is always with us and among us. God is present here. It is the affirmation of our faith that we greet each other. In the church, when we say, Christos Postelinas, where Christ is among us. It's the public affirmation that we believe such a thing is true. Not just words, but we who believe it know that he is here. And we wait the second coming so he can claim me. That when my work is done, that I can go with him to his Father. And to earn, as he said, that kingdom prepared for those who are his beloved. The church that you belong to here at St. Mary's carries on the work of Christ. Christ, who walked among his disciples, did the will of his Father, climbed upon that cross, not because you and I deserve it, because he loved us so much. And when he resurrected from the tomb, he gave us a life through the Holy Spirit. And he put upon our shoulders the responsibility to continue the work that he came here to do to claim everything that God created his Father, to claim everything for him. We have that duty and obligation to seize, so to speak, the world back from where it's at and put it back in the presence of God. I said, the church, you are that church, carries on the work of Christ here at St. Mary's. There's a lot of work to do in the world. A lot of work here at St. Mary's. This building, your weekly gatherings are not enough. There's an ongoing association with Christ, a daily association which must be part of your life. And if we are to raise our voice in praise for the 100th anniversary of this church, the building and the community, a community which has seen so much happen to itself. A hundred years is hard for us to fathom what went on in those days, unless we read the history books. Through depression, being deprived economically of so many things, of coming to a new country, not always understood, but of people who knew that they were with the Lord Jesus Christ, who were not theologically probably alert to many things in the world, but they had the simple faith and trust 
God said it would be, if we gathered together two or three, he would be among us. And so they did that. Not worrying about position, but in the meagerness of their own economic life, gathering and building a temple for the Lord. They knew that Christ's work had to continue, but they had to do it for him here on this earth. The Lord gives us all the power we need if we claim it. He gives us the power to do anything we want for him. We must not only claim it, but put it to good use. The gift of the people here at St. Mary's, those living, those not longer with us, those who share the joy today in the communion of saints, this church is a gift to the church of Passaic. We are a visible expression of God's holy church in this part of the world, in this portion of Hazleton, in this portion of the diocese. That is why it is good for us to reflect upon the gifts that we have. Most of us today are concerned about the future. Not just where you work, where you live, the changing structure of society puts us a little fearful of events tomorrow. And yes, we're also very afraid of what's going to happen to us in the church tomorrow. That's a common theme all Christians are professing today. They worry about tomorrow, and that is not what we should do. Why worry about tomorrow? The Lord said we could do nothing about it. But it is today that if we put all things right, there is no worry about the church of Jesus Christ. It will not disappear from our sight. There is no fear for St. Mary's Church here in Hazleton. You will not be destroyed. No one can come against this church to make it disappear. Christ said he would be with us until the end and the second coming. He will watch over us. And he said in scripture, when you read it, he said the best thing for you for, to receive anything from the Father is to get together and to pray. Two and three, I am there with you. I pick you up, I lift you up, I watch over you. That's why the liturgy is on Sunday when you gather. Maybe your singing may not always be perfect every Sunday. You not always feel well. Perhaps the weather keeps you a little away from the church, but it is here where you gather strength in the presence of God. Not two or three, but the multitude from this parish church, the believing families, the family of St. Mary, that today celebrates the 100th anniversary of the gift that we, you have given to the diocese. We do not carry out the mission to believe, to love, and to share in a vacuum. It must be put to good use. We are part of the history of this diocese of ours. You are part of the history of Hazleton. You are part of the history of the United States. A transmigration of people who come across the notion to build up this country of ours so endowed with the blessings of the Lord. And you have earned those blessings. You have received them. And so the joy should be in your heart today because you have given to a country, a state, a city, and a diocese the gift of love and concern. We are the heirs of the past, yes. We all like to talk about where we came from. And the best thing to talk about is we came from a believing community. Men and women who believed in Christ, that's why we're here. The world did not take them away from the center of their life, God. Just as we pray with God's grace that you will not be taken away from the center of your life, St. Mary's, that you will be steadfast and firm in your love for God, that you will express it so well every Sunday and every day of the week, that you will reach out to each other as believing people, 
And when you come to church, you'll recognize that God is here, my brother is here, my sister is here, my family is here. And when you join together with the other churches of the diocese in the unity of faith and service. We are builders for the future. We look to the future this day. It's not an end of St. Mary's. We work working towards the new millennium within the church. Working also serving the Lord for the next hundred years if you can be here, but be in the spirit of preparing it for your children's children. Hazleton needs St. Mary's for this believing generation as a new, so we say, a quality of life for this city. You generally can tell a city by the number of the churches what type of people live there. And Hazleton has its shares of temples for the Lord. What are we called to do on this 100th anniversary? We are asked primarily by your pastor, by his grace, Bishop Michael, and all the priests who have served you, for all those who are here, to be faithful, trusting, to be the spirit and people of love, not to find small things to discuss and to destroy yourselves, but to band together and hold yourselves together that you may tell the world we are a believing community here at St. Mary's. Though the world may have gone mad in many aspects, we are the ones who are in the presence of God. You and I must walk and talk and work together. So to speak, joining hands to make it a strong community. When you are strong, the diocese is strong. When you are strong, the church down the street is strong. The Christian faith permeates itself and gives new life. And scripture says this, upon your shoulder, is given that responsibility to keep the Church of Christ alive and well, to take that faith given to you, to give it to others and to nurture it, to share it. In the spirit of love, to welcome your children, to welcome your neighbor, brothers and sisters, always through that front door of this temple. It is a place where the the laity must come forward to sustain the work of the priests here. It sometimes is very easy for the laity to say, leave Father, do something, but there's work to be done. There's work to teach, to serve, to minister, to sing. All these aspects are upon your shoulder also. Your priest can have 10 liturgies a day and there's no one here to sing, no one to serve, no one to reach out to the poor of the parish. His work here would be meaningless. It would mean that you have not caught the message of Jesus Christ from Scripture. And so on this 100th anniversary, we ask you to think about all the natural things that you're thinking about. You're worried about lack of vocations, not enough clergymen to serve you, not enough finances probably. All these things are earthly things. It is God who puts things in their proper place. Rely upon God and do something. Just don't pray, but pick yourself up and say, I'm going to be with God always. Today on this anniversary, I congratulate the members of the parish here, St. Mary's, Pray at the altar for those who have served here, all the priests, deacons, and the religious. And you have been generous to God in the diocese. Your vocations have been good. Your vocations are at the altar serving with the bishop. We've had sisters from this parish. It shows that you have learned a lesson, but don't stop. Profess that even to a greater degree in the days to come. 
I say I congratulate each one of you and all of you for being here to celebrate on this 100th anniversary the joy of serving the Lord. And I would like you one thing before I close to pray with me. If you would all stand, I'd appreciate it. On this 100th anniversary, I would ask you to bow your heads in the presence of God and ask the Holy Spirit to come and to touch all of us here. As I pray, O oh gracious God, you who have blessed your people here at St. Mary's in Hazleton with every good gift in the past, so we ask you now to look down upon them as they bow their heads. You may give them new life for another day. We ask you now, Lord, to continue to show your love to this community of St. Mary's, to the church here in Hazelton, and to our own particular diocese of Passaic, that they, through their work, may embellish the good things for the glory of God. Lead your people here today into the future life with their hearts today filled with joy and thanksgiving, give them faith, confidence, and joy in tomorrow. May all of us here, Lord, build on the faith of our fathers, the ancestors who gave us this temple, so that we, in turn, may pass on the gospel of Jesus Christ, the love that he gave us, the love of Jesus Christ to all future generations. Lord Jesus Christ, keep this door open of the church, open to those who are hungry for you. We ask all of this, Lord, in the Spirit of God, through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. God bless all of you. Bishop George Quisman, the Auxiliary Bishop of Passaic. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say. The liturgy continues. Pontiff John Paul II, the Pope of Rome, for most Reverend Bishop Michael and Bishop John, Bishop George, for our God-loving Bishop George, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy. for our civil authorities and for all those in the service of our country. Lord, Savior and Master, with fear and trembling, we, your servants, give thanks to your loving kindness for the benefits which you have showered upon us in abundance, frustrating ourselves and praising you, our God. We cry out in humility, deliver your servants from every misfortune, and because you are merciful, fulfill the desires of us all inasmuch as they are for our benefit. We pray you, hear us, and uh, have a mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As you now have mercifully heard the prayer of your servants and have shown to them the goodness of your love for mankind, and as in the past you have not disdained our prayers, Fill the good desires of your servants, overlooking our transgressions. Show your bountiful mercy to us all. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
our thanksgiving be acceptable for the majesty of your glory as the sweet aroma of incense and as a rich offering. Give us your rich mercy and bounties every day. Deliver your holy church and this city and this parish from all assaults of every visible and invisible enemy. Grant that your people may live in health and without sin. Grant them an advancement in every good thing. We pray you, O most merciful King, hear us and have mercy. abundant mercy for those who showed us mercy for all Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For your merciful and gracious God, give and glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. sings the cherubic hymn. And the altar will be incensed in preparation for the great entrance and the bringing of the gifts to the holy table for the Eucharistic sacrifice. to Christ, the Byzantine Catholic Church, St. Mary's in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, 1889 to 1989. Our narrator for today is Father Basil Schott from the Franciscans, Byzantine priest who are with us today. And we're happy to have him giving us all the useful information. Father? They are now beginning to make the great entrance, the bringing of the gifts to the Holy Table. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our holy ecumenical pontiff, John Paul, the Pope of Rome, our most reverend Archbishop of Metropolitan Stephen, the God-loving bishops of the Catholic Church, the entire priestly, diaconate, and the monastic order, our civil authorities, and those in the service of our country, the noble and ever-memorable founders, and the benefactors of this holy church, and all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever.
bishops will now offer each other and the concelebrating clergy the kiss of peace in preparation for the singing of the creed. The bishop says Christ is among us. The response is he is and will be. In wisdom let us be attentive. The congregation now sings the Nicene Creed. and the faithful all sing and profess their belief in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. in the love of God and Father and a communion in the Holy Spirit be uh, with all of you. the
With these blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, we too cry out and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and splendorous is your glory, who so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but should have life everlasting. Who having come and having fulfilled the whole divine plan concerning us, on a night when he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. After supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. of your own in behalf of all and for all. We pray For our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. <laughs> the congregation now sings a special hymn to the Mother of God. Pontiff John Paul, the Pope of Rome, our most reverend Archbishop of Metropolitan Stephen, and our God loving bishops Michael and George, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years as they faithfully dispense the word of your truth. And of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And, and grant, O Lord, that we may with confidence without condemnation dare call upon you, Father, the God of heaven, and say... Oh, the bishop now invites everyone to sing the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven.
Spirit, now and ever and forever. be attentive, holy things to the holy. Wow. The bishops and the consecrating priests are prepared to partake of the precious body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. the clergy and deacons in attendance also approach the bishop to receive the Eucharist. Bishops and the concelebrating priests and the faithful will pray. The oh Lord, uh, I believe in progress.
Sir Knight Daniel Kafka and Mr. Joseph Koch, Mr. Stanley Benzinski, Mr. Frederick Clement. of the Eucharist, the faithful will be invited to come forward. They will be invited to approach with fear of God and with faith. The young men serving at this divine liturgy and assisting the bishop are St. Mary's altar boys standing and preparing to receive communion. Approach with fear of God and with his faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The bishops and the grand celebrating priests will distribute communion to the faithful. The religious brothers, sisters, and members of St. Mary's Parish. On this beautiful celebration, 100 years of worshiping God, basically on this same spot, this present church, is 42 years old. The previous church was built one street away. 
26 pastors have served St. Mary's community in this past 100 years. And of course, one pastor, Monsignor John Koval, served 38 of those 100 years and was, in fact, the pastor who built this magnificent edifice. Among other pastors were Reverend Eugene Volke, Reverend Thomas Sable, Reverend Victor Shiba, Reverend Nicholas Mardiak, Reverend John Sable, certainly Monsignor Koval, and more recently, Reverend Joseph Homa, and the present pastor, Father Francis Garrett. The beautiful singing is led by cantors, and St. Mary's has had various cantors, but one very special cantor, Andrew Morris, who served in this parish for 57 years, and who is now deceased. So to God is king, king, make your travel on your feet. St. Mary's Parish, as Bishop George remarked in his homily, has given many to the service of the Lord. It's seven priests. Monsignor Andrew Sokol is deceased. Monsignor William Lefkulik. Monsignor Nicholas Buhak, Monsignor Michael Moran, Reverend Anthony Koval is deceased and was the son of Monsignor John Koval, Reverend Andrew Chura, and most recently, Reverend Jody Barron. They have also given vocations to the religious life. Two sisters, belong to the community of the Sisters of St. Basil the Great, headquartered in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, Sister Isabel, who is deceased, and Sister Avira, who is present for this celebration. this 100th anniversary celebration, the sacristy and sanctuary, including the main altar, have undergone major renovations. Which have helped St. Mary's Visiting Catholic Church in Hazleton, Pennsylvania to continue to exemplify a classic basilica-style Byzantine church. Say to your people, O oh God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the wonderful light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have come the truth, and we worship the omnipotent Trinity for the Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Having received Holy Communion, the faithful with cantors, now sing, may our lips be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory.
as the congregation sings so joyfully, our minds go back to the many founders and benefactors and parishioners who have worshipped and attended and received the sacraments in this church for the past 100 years. Let us go forth in the peace and in the name Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. <coughs> Glorify your true body by and God. And do not forsake us and hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your church, and to the priest, to our civil authorities, to all of your people. For every good gift, every praise is from above, coming down from you, the Father of life. To render glory, thank you, worship to you. Father, so is your honor, and forever. Indeed, the choir sings with this believing community. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. And Bishop Michael will impart to them a blessing. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us. To the prayers of his most holy mother, whose feast of the protection we celebrate today. To the prayers of our holy, uh, holy, uh, God, uh, holy apostles, and to all John Grand Christum, Archbishop of Constantinople, and of all the saints, for he is gracious and loves mankind. Amen. Ecumenical Pontiff John Paul, the Pope of Rome, grant, O Lord, many years. The bishop now remembers the Pope of Rome in a special way. To our most reverend Archbishop and Metropolitan Stephen, to our God loving Auxiliary Bishop George, grant, O Lord, many years. All will be remembered, the bishops, the priests, the cantors, and most especially the parishioners of St. Mary's. To our God-loving Bishop Michael, peace, health, and long life for many and happy clergy and religious present, grant, O Lord, many years. To Fathers Homer and Father Gera, and to the beloved uh, parishioners of St. Mary's, grant, O oh Lord, peace, health, and happiness for many years.
ships and console of an increase in Altaboris pose for a final photo as we conclude the Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom. The Masters of Ceremonies for this Divine Liturgy were Monsignor Robert Menina, Pastor of St. George's Church in Newark, New Jersey, and the Very Reverend Robert Evangel, Pastor of St. Peter and Paul's Church in Beaver Meadows, Pennsylvania. Francis Garrow, the present pastor, Bishop George Kuzma, the auxiliary bishop of the saint. 